Hello. Uh, today I will show you how you can get 220 volts from uh, 10 uh, finger. I mean, <laughs> from uh, 10 uh, AA batteries. You know, you know these batteries. In uh, Latvia we called call them Pirkstiņu uh, batterijas, uh, which means finger battery. I think it's because uh, they look like a finger but here they they are commonly known as AA batteries. So um, we will need 10 of these batteries and I'm gonna put them in in the battery holder so I can join them all together so I can have the total voltage of about 12 or 13 volts uh, because each battery is about 1.2 or 1.3 volts and I need uh, 12 volts in total and I will tell you why in a minute when I'm finished putting them in so I've done that and now I'm just gonna make sure that I have the total power of uh, 12 or 13 volts which I have and then then I'm gonna use this um, uh, in-car inverter it's a thing you can plug in your car uh, which converts uh, 12 uh, volts into 220 volts uh, and then you can run uh, small appliances and I already attached this uh, wire here which I'm gonna attach now to the battery pack and now once I've done that this thing uh, uh, converter is already working and you can tell that by the green light and you can also hear it now there is a little fan inside so now now I'm gonna plug this thing I'm gonna plug uh, electricity meter in here so now I can just check that it really works and yeah there we go it is 224 volts which means this socket is a as a regular uh, socket in your kitchen where you can plug in anything and I'm just gonna check now if my table lamp works with that <clears throat> so uh, now I get a table lamp and I'm gonna plug it in here and I'm gonna switch on the table lamp and yeah there it goes it works you can see well, the voltage dropped by a few volts but it still is 219 volts and then it shows it's 50 hertz which is uh, normal or 49 which is normal for UK and then and yeah I can also see that it's using right now 8.4 watts of energy and I think this bulb is like 10 watt bulb and it's using a little bit less maybe because it's not maybe it needs 240 volts I'm not sure about that but it is very bright like it looks like it would be plugged in in a regular socket so uh, you're probably wondering uh, well, what is the catch well uh, the catch is that uh, this let me show you that uh, this bat battery pack it can only give out about a maximum of 20 watts of energy uh, because each separate battery can give about 2 watts uh, which means you can only run maximum 20 watt bulb or or any other appliance which is uh, 20 watt or less but if you want to run uh, like po more powerful devices like TV for example which might take might need 100 watts then there is another uh, option you can get one of these uh, lithium polymer batteries which this one is 11.1 volts but it actually is about 12 and then you can uh, connect that to the adapter which I've done before 
and then it d does actually run your TV as well N not for very long because you know you can't really have that much energy in this battery but um, yeah I can show you that this particular battery is very very powerful and don't don't try this at home because this is slightly dangerous so yeah here is the battery 12 11 volt battery but look what happens when you when you attach the wires to the red and <laughs> red and uh, black which you should not do yeah you can see there is a big spark because there's uh, loads of um, loads of what amperes going through and you should never ever touch it by your fingers because I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's painful I'm not gonna try it and uh, I think you know if you do that if you have the battery like that and if you want to um, if you want to test it I think it's best that you wear uh, glasses you know because there the spark is flying really fast and uh, ooh, it, it's probably hot as well so yeah <laughs> this is this is very tempting to do Oof. very tempting to do but don't do it because it's it's not very sensible anyway um um stay safe